Hola, como están todos? I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving and that um, you're staying safe and that you're hanging in there for the holidays. Um, I just wanted to get on here real quick. I know I'm not like super popular on YouTube and it's not like I have tons of fans who are just like absolutely concerned for, m for me and what I've been up to. <laughs> Um, but I did feel an obligation to get on here regardless because I do know that I have a few subscribers and I just wanted to make sure that I am staying as consistent as possible and being as transparent as possible with you guys about what's been going on with my content, why I haven't been on, blah, 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 blah. So we all know the famous reason is just life and not just life, but life in a pandemic. So there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, however... One of the main reasons why I haven't really been on like that is because the last time I spoke to you, I said I was working on a few ventures um, with a clothing slash accessory line and also a new um, makeup and beauty line and all that stuff. So, and the thing is, I was waiting for both of my orders to come in so that I can review everything at the same time. <clears throat> that was the goal. Um, I realized I could easily do two separate videos, but you know, with me not really going out like that, except for work, I don't really put a lot of makeup on. And yes, I do have a semi-consistent skincare and I do have a semi-consistent hair care going on and stuff, but I just figured why not do everything at once when I'm actually going to be using the products for a purpose, such as going out um seeing a few close people who i know are safe and who are following cdc guidelines and stuff like that um that to me would make the most sense to do a video when i know i'm going to be going out that way i can use the products i can demo the products show you what's up with the products and not be wasting product <laughs> that's just my logic you know if i'm going to put makeup on my face i don't want to put makeup on my face just to have to wipe it off two minutes later I'd rather know that like, okay, I'm putting this on for a reason. I'm going to be going out. So the makeup is going to get its use, its proper use. Um, and then as for the skincare, I haven't really had too much time to get back on the site and get more skincare so that I can demo and review the skincare for you. So honestly, that's just what's up with the beauty care. But I do have my first order with me. It's actually like under my little nightstand table over there. But um, I'm still going to hold off on a, a little bit on that. Now, as for my clothing slash accessory line, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> um, I went on, I created some content to put on the clothing and accessories. It was okay. I ordered my samples to see how the quality was and the quality was just okay it was just okay and I realize now that I'm talking about it I have one of my samples over there and I don't feel like getting up because I'm actually not dressed <laughs> um but like I said I wanted to do the review with everything together anyway so back to the topic um I was very disappointed because the quality specifically the quality on the hoodie that I order because you know you order samples the hoodie the quality just wasn't and I'm not talking about the hoodie itself I'm talking about my design on the hoodie it the colors weren't as saturated as I would like them to be and I'm a very bold and loud <laughs> type of individual especially when it comes to my clothing and my brand and what whatever I put on myself, it's usually going to have very saturated colors. It's going to make a statement. And I felt like this hoodie was just like, blah. Also, um, I had originally brought the hood, bought the hoodie as a sample and two face masks with the intention of, because, you know, one of my best friend's birthdays just passed in November so I was hoping to get the samples in time for his birthday, which I did. I think they arrived like the day before or the day of. No, I think it was the day before his birthday I got them. 
Um, and they came relatively quickly. They said um, it could take up to nine days and it definitely arrived within those nine days. Um, and, you know, of course I had him open it and I wanted to see how he liked it and I wanted to get his opinion. He didn't try on the hoodie or anything and I wasn't going to force him to like, oh, you have to try it on. I need content feedback. <laughs> but, um, so whenever he tries it on, I'll, I'll pick his brain and see how he feels about it. Um, as far as the wearability quality, but just looking at it, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like that the colors weren't super saturated the way that they were when I saw them on my um, website, my digital store, whatever you call it. So that was my deal with that. And then the face mask, and maybe because it was a different material than the sweatshirt, but I felt like the, the mask came out a lot better as in terms of the saturation of the color. Um, but, you know, we can do a full review later on if, if I feel it's necessary to stay with this company. Now, I will say I've reached out a few times to customer service. They cannot be reached by phone. They can only be reached by email, which already pisses me off because I'm like, when I have a problem... I need it to be settled as quickly as possible. And if I have to wait for you to get back to me in an email and it could take up to hours or it could take several days for you to give me an answer back, I don't like that. I don't like that. I understand we're in a pandemic. People are trying to be safe. But I also work for another um, company. Um, oh, I'm losing my freaking words where I'm an independent contractor, because this basically that's what you are when you work for these um, companies where you get to be creative and create your own schedule and blah, blah, blah. You're an independent contractor. So I have another job, well, two other jobs where I'm an independent contractor and, well, one of them, not so much. The other one, I am an independent contractor. And they do have customer service that can be reached via, via phone. You can send them text messages or you can talk to them on the phone. So that just tells me like either they don't have a lot of people working for them in the customer service department or I don't know what's going on. I've recently come up with more content that I want to put into my, my store. And for some reason, it's unable to upload. I just checked it again today. <laughs> I'm on it right now. I checked my store today. The designs are not there. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not able to add them to my existent store, existing store. I try to start another store. And again, the stuff is not uploading. So I'm very upset and agitated by that. Not only that, but I also ordered two phone cases. And I've still, over a month later, have I have not received those phone cases. So that's what's going up on with me. That's why I haven't really been posting much because I don't really have the proper items to demo to you. But I hope you guys are doing well and I hope I'll be seeing you very soon. <laughs>